Hello, it's Philip Taylor speaking from Richmond Green Chambers, and I'm looking at a book from Oxford University Press. It's called European a Copyright Law, a Commentary, and it's been edited and written by Michael M. Walter and Silke von Lewinsky. This is the book here, red cover. It's heavy, 1500 pages. It actually was in German originally and it's been changed. You can see some of the uh, contents there. It's been translated into English. A lot of case law. And let me just show you how, again, lots of other bits and pieces here. Let me just show you how it's structured though, because the structuring is you've got paragraphing at the sides, footnotes at the bottom, of course, the usual structure, but it is heavy. It's a big book and it covers everything you want to know concerning the European aspects. It's a very useful, relatively short index at the back. Now Elizabeth and I have written a review on Flickr and on the more main websites. We've given it a rather long title because this is very much like quite a lot of books I've come across where they're being translated. Fairly substantial works which of course take a little bit of explanation and as I say it's heavy in all senses of the word. So we've given it a sort of longer title. We've said Four IP lawyers and anyone involved in intellectual property rights, a compendium of logically presented com commentaries on European copyright law. And that's exactly what you're getting here. And it's very useful, of course, to give you a much wider angle on what we're doing both within England and Britain, within the European Union and internationally, as the picture emerges of new laws. <coughs> it's new from OUP as I say, translated from the German, and it's an enlightened commentary in our view, much of it em emanating from the support and research facilities offered by the Max Planck Institute in um, Munich. The current edition reflects, as did the first edition, which was published in 2001, the increasing harmonisation of copyright in the European community, obviously the European Union as a whole, and is logically presented in the form of an article by article commentary by a team of highly regarded experts in this important area of law. The result is a thorough in-depth examination of copyright related directives and regulations and a survey of legislative materials is given covering things like leg uh, legal instruments, uh, there's a very useful bibliography which precedes each directive or regulation which is cited, and as I said, it's a heavyweight book in all senses of the word. Predictably, European copyright has undergone a number of developments in, in the last few years since the first edition was published. To mention only a couple, uh, the product piracy regulations, very important of course for, for creative people, and the enforcement directive which was adopted in 2004. Developments, of course, in the field of collective management have also taken place and are well covered here. European copyright still is not yet an overall um, cohesive, coherent system, say the editors, but rather more a patchwork where, however, the contours of a consistent and comprehensive system may already be recognised. That's, of course, the beauty of where we are at the moment with the whole aspects of of our relationship with our common law views and those of our continental colleagues. Optimistically, the authors foresee the probability of a possible further harmonization which must be carried out with a view to maintaining and further developing authors' rights at a high level in recognition of the eminent importance of the cultural sector for society as a whole. Of course, that is important because of the tremendous amount of emphasis we place on this area of creativity and so forth. The book contains a wealth of diverse material covering fundamental rights, European competition law and so forth. All the usual suspects, in other words, from the <coughs> your EU studies will be there. The work concludes with a commentary on the status of harmonisation and an outlook on copyright law throughout the EU, and I think that's very valuable. So, as I say, within about 1,500 pages, and it is a, it's a heavy book, 
it presents a hundred pages of tables of cases alone, um, plus the list of contributors, of course, abbreviations and so on. There's a good index, as I've indicated, and for researchers into the ongoing development of European copyright law, its ramifications and consequences, this book, in our view, is a gift and certainly a sensible purchase for any and all involved in IP. So thank you very much to OUP and for the translators and for the work from the two authors. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.